Hi everyone, this is Val here at Crafts By You. I'm just coming to you because this is gonna be like one of my favorite things this year. Marguerite Miller, um, if you haven't heard, she does a collage prompt assignment type of jam so that if you're into glue books or that sort of thing or you wanna make your junk journal and add this to it, it just um, gives an easy way when you don't have a lot of time and you wanna be creative and yeah, so it's a weekly challenge and this week is the first week. <clears throat> so you get your assignments. Um, she has an Etsy store and a website, um, her Instagram. There's a lot of places where you can check her out. But um, again, this is, if you don't know, I'll put those links in the description below. But I think this is something you might really enjoy when you don't have a lot of time. So um, for this week's assignment, these are the things we need to find. Something magical, something representing time, um, translucent paper of some sort, uh, furniture with legs, something triangular. And you can do the bonus as um, a bonus or you can use the bonus to swap out one of the other components. So this is a, a really fun way to use your stash and just have fun with it. Okay, so I'm going to be using my Hobonichi uh, for this. And essentially what I've got for something magical, I've kind of combined some of mine. So this is my furniture, but the magical is also the holographic part. This is what I love about our assignment is everything is up for interpretation. Like for example, she had one where it was an example of um, something from an office and she ended up using like her stapler to staple a piece of scrap that was on her table. So I love that kind of stuff. You know, I'm down for that. So this holographic stuff is always going to be magical for me because, hey, I grew up in the 80s and Jim, Jim and the holograms was magical. So, <laughs> so that's my something magical. Um, something that represents time is going to, I was going to do swatch watches. But then I was like, okay, this is going to turn into a whole 80s thing. But anyway, so um, it would be this, this clock here. And this also would be my bonus. So I figured, uh-oh, two for, two for right here. This, um, a place, this is from South Carolina. And I don't think they call it Greenville. I think they call it Grin Greenville. Wait. Oh my goodness. My friend Karen. Karen, tell me in the comments how I say this. Grun I'm, con I'm country, but this is a different kind of country. So help me out with that. It <laughs> I can't say the words. Anyway, so that's my bonus place. Um... And I'm going to use my vellum. I was going to use this, but I'm going to use my vellum to do something triangular with this. So let's just go ahead and try to get this going and watch. I like tear my, my one thing here. So I'm super excited for this, you guys. She actually makes even, she's a publisher too. So she actually has a, um, a book if you want the actual book with all of the prompts in it which is kind of nice you know if you were like on the go or traveling and you wanted to take one thing with you um so for example and you know what i'm just looking for a straight edge around here um here we go um because i know that Say, for example, you went camping or something. I know some friends of ours, they they do that. And I like this year that, but I'm probably going to just take that off. <clears throat> and so that would just be a way where they can pack a few things. And then you could kind of collect ephemera from the places that you go to along the way. But, you know, outside of that, we all know we've got like a gajillion things of ephemera essentially in our place. So maybe in our rooms, in our stashes, maybe I'll do the sparklies over here. Okay, I'm just gonna go down here, take this off. So it's gonna be kind of fun doing this. And it's what well, the other thing I think that is very interesting. So um, I was talking to my husband this morning about making decisions and choices. And last night, while I was stressing out over <laughs> over that um, that piece that I did, I was laughing because my husband was upstairs watching this thing 
on our minds. And he said they were talking about how a person, once you have more than, I think he said more than six choices, that it's super easy for you to become overwhelmed. Now, we're not gonna talk about clothing in this situation. However, you know, I just find that super interesting that um, having, you know, that's part of the reason I think even in our craft room, craft rooms, I can't talk tonight, y'all. In our craft room, we'll have so many things, all the things, all the tools you could ever want and yet not craft. And I was thinking back to like when I was growing, like starting, not growing up, Lord knows, that's been a long time since then, but I was thinking, yeah, I'm gonna do this kind of at this angle, just for this bottom layer, and that's gonna be my triangle. Now, me cutting that straight, it ain't happening. <laughs> so, let's see if we can do it here. Um, but I was just thinking back to how much more creative I was when I didn't have the tools. I mean, because I really had to like invent invent some kind of way to, to, to imitate what I was seeing everybody doing. And now, you know, you get all the stuff and it's a problem. It's like, oh yeah, well, my this, my that, and the other. So, let me see. I think, let me see, where am I putting this chair on here? My floating chair. It's got a, it's got its own little spot out here. Maybe I'll do... I'll do it at an angle. Okay, there, here, trim this extra. All right. I know that's coming off, so I'll just glue this down. Yeah, so he um he's laughing. He's like, You just have too many options. I'm like, hey man, I don't I, I'm picking up on what you're throwing down, but I'm not <laughs> I'm not interested in having this conversation right now. Because he knows I'm like seriously in the midst of uh, trying to get everything picked up and cleaned up. But I think I've been doing that ever since I I got a bunch of stuff. So anyway, could you imagine though if you just limited all of your projects to fewer, fewer items? How much more creative would you be? Let me know in the comments below. All right, let's put this baby down. And this just came, this chair was just from a die. I think it's like an Anna Griffin die. That's why it's bougie looking. I love chairs like this. Okay, okay, okay. Enough glue? Maybe, yeah, maybe. Got that. And then, let's get us a little bit yeah, see, I like the fact that at least with this vellum that it's translucent because then that way, you know, it's not that much more distracting because I wouldn't want to distract from all of this glitter that I'm about to put on here. So, we're going to take the glitter, put some on our face, we're going to take our tape. And I gotta stand up for this. <laughs> Look at how magical this is. Oh my God, I love it. All right, and I think what I am gonna do is on the seam here, art glitter glue. Let's represent. Of course, I'm doing this probably the opposite direction and you know when I was a kid when we used to go and drive through the city at night I was so short I couldn't really see over the dashboard or anything but um I remember like we'd be in Dallas or something and my mom and my cousin who was you know a, a good bit older than me she they would be driving oh maybe I feel like I should have more glitter Ooh, ooh, ooh. I don't know I feel like I need more. We would be driving and listening to like in the heat of the night. Wait, no, no, something's in the air tonight. Phil Collins, you know that Phil Collins. <laughs> Wait, in the heat of the night, that was a that was a show. With 
that was a whole nother thing. Okay, wait, my bad. We be listening. <laughs> Wait a minute, I'm about to put more glue down. This stuff's probably dried as long as I'm taking. We be listening. I remember like hearing that, you know. Yeah, he, what is, oh, now I need to call my husband and ask him what that Phil Collins song is. You know that one? It's like, okay, I'm not going to start singing on YouTube. No, I can't do that. But anyway, <laughs> if it was alive and you guys were inciting me to sing, that'd be different. But um, we be, they'd be blaring that and driving like so fast and was like, nobody else seemed to be on the road. I just remember that as a kid, that was something to me. Like I kept thinking, man, when I grow up, I'm going to be playing Phil Collins and driving fast with the windows down and just the whole road to myself. Anyway, that's what I always thought about like living in the city when I got to be older. Well, I've lived in many cities and if you were driving fast, listening to Phil Collins, you were definitely probably gonna get pulled over um and a warning but <laughs> still <laughs> anyway so funny the things that that you know like random things start getting you thinking about but anyway that is gonna be my magical first assignment thank you marguerite i'll put all the links below you guys um there's also digitals and that's kind of what i did this time but digitals if you don't want to bother with um if you don't want the physical thing because you already have a notebook or you want to do your own journal or something so i hope you guys enjoy p.s um please like comment subscribe you guys and put the notification bell on i'm really wanting to make sure that my community is here and talking to me and let me know so i don't feel like i'm just in my craft room alone and secondly the fragrance for the evening is snow kiss cranberry it's my last cube in my Scentsy Warmer. I'll put a link below. The, I think this one is gone now, but the last of the um, the winter types of smells are, um, they're all on sale this month. Well, I think almost everything is, but this will be the last month you can get those out, putting them in your Scentsy Club. So I'm just putting that out there because I love it. My room smells nice and I've got sparkly things around. All right, y'all. Bye for real. Thank you.